Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Leilani Estates update for June 4th, 2018. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is Leilani Estates itself. Um, as some of you know, if not most of you, uh, Leilani Estates had a new uh, evacuation order written by our mayor, Harry Kim, which put uh, the lower half of Leilani under a mandatory evacuation order. Uh, for the areas uh, east of Pomakai. Um, along with that order came the, the knowledge that uh, if anyone was caught in that area after uh, a certain 24-hour period after the order was issued, that um, you could be subject to arrest and, and fined for emergency services if you was to need them. So with that being said, this red outline here is what uh, signifies the mandatory evacuation zone. The little black lines you see here are where the power is out. However, uh, after the uh, deadline for the mandatory evacuation came, very shortly after that, the power to uh, Pomakai and Moku and, and the other part of or the uh, north side of, uh, of Kapono was then turned off as well. Uh, this was not made public that that was going to happen. Um, so that's that. Um, for any of y'all, you know, for all y'all that are, are wondering, you know, pretty much where I live, I live uh, over here on this side of the neighborhood. Um, so as you can see, you know, I'm pretty much a good distance from the, the major of the activity. Uh, here is fissure 8, which is currently still active. Now I want to show y'all where some things were located that y'all heard about in previous videos. Uh, and this is where uh, Victor's house is uh, generally located. And this is where the uh, doghouse house was generally located. And as you can see by this, this area here, this has not been covered with lava. This is actually uh, a higher elevation than the surrounding areas. Uh, if y'all look through the video as we, we walk down um, Kahakai past Mahala towards Leilani, it went uphill until we got to where Victor's house was and then it would go downhill. And this is where all the, the activity we saw, the bottom end lower end of Kahakai uh, with all the cracks in the roads and the uh, the steam and eventually leading to the the fissures which created a, a huge uh, lava lake here in this this little valley area um, it was an amazing sight let's move over and take a look at uh, Moku and Kupono South over where fissure 9 is um, Obviously, I don't have any video or photographs of the area uh, since the new evacuation order uh, was issued. Um, obviously, because I can't get into those areas, obviously. However, I do have a report from someone uh, that was in there. And uh, they tell me that uh, there's been little to no change. Um, Moku and Kapono both today weren't very steamy at all. Uh, last USGS report we had on these areas was uh, Kapono was um, reading hotter than it had been and was steaming pretty good. And that was um, yesterday, June 3rd, if I'm correct, is when they reported that. Uh, as of today... Uh, the steam contents down, I, I have no idea about temperature. So that's pretty much uh, all I know about those street locations. Okay, now let's move up to Kapaho area. Uh, this is the, the lava flow from Fissure 8. Uh, it's flowed into the Kapaho area and into Kapaho Bay. Um, 
However, according to this map, uh, Champagne Pond area uh, is still there, and the tidal pool area is is still there. Um, these red dots indicate uh, the position of the flow fronts based on that date time. Uh, I think these dates and times are starting at uh, like six o'clock in the morning and range up to nine ten o'clock in the morning uh, for June fourth as well. This area here is called the Four Corners area. So if anyone um, has been hearing any talk about Four Corners, that that's it. I mean, it, it really it, the lava looks like it went down the road and made a right hand turn. Um, this gray up here on the map is uh, old lava flows. Uh, I believe this is from 1960 flow, um, where the lighter gray down here is part of the 1955 flows. Um, so I guess that does it for now. And hopefully tomorrow um, I'll be able to uh, post another one of these videos like this to uh, give you all the, the current information. This has been the Leilani Estates update for June 4th, 2018.